Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and another Bus Sim 21 video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your driving by setting up a balanced route. So let's get on with today's video. In Bus Simulator 21, there are a few opportunities to get closer to the management side of the game, and balancing your route is one of those ways. So let me show you how. So let's start by creating a route. You'll see this route demand meter down on your bottom left with two icons. The arrow up corresponds to the map that I've got open at the moment. Now this is notorious for people wanting to get on your bus, busy stops for people wanting to get on, and the opposite for arrow down. These are notorious for people wanting to be dropped off. And the idea behind it is that you want to get a balanced route with a good mixture of people getting on your bus and off your bus. We're going to start by setting up a basic four stop route here in West Oakwood. So we're going to start by going to West Oakwood Bay and you can see this is a notorious drop off point. So we're going to click that. That goes up on the left there. That's our first stop and you can see the route demand is leaning towards dropping customers off. If you hover over your next proposed stop, the route demand will give you a sort of hint, if you like, as to where that balancing is going to go. So, for example, if we was planning on choosing Lincoln Street, you can see now that the down arrow has got two on there, so this is even more unbalanced. If we were going to go to Bissell Avenue, you can see the route is now balanced because we've got a drop-off stop and a pick-up stop. So let's choose Bissell Avenue. Now because we've got one of each style of stop, obviously choosing the next one is going to make it unbalanced either way. But we're going to go to Florida Avenue, which is a general pickup point. We know that's going to make it unbalanced. And as you can see, the route demand meter is telling us it's leaning towards more pickup than drop off. So at the moment it's unbalanced, but we knew that was going to happen anyway. So we're going to end this short four stop route by trying to balance it fully and of course we're going to go to a drop off point. So we're going to choose West 3rd Street and that makes that a fully balanced route. As you can see from the route demand meter and the fact that the game is telling us this route is balanced. So that is a perfect stop and a mixture of picking people up and dropping people off to keep your bus constantly busy and enough space for all passengers. There are also other ways that you can fine tune your routes. If you come up to here to peak time and you want to set up some nighttime routes, some morning routes, some daytime routes, you can do that here. This gives you an idea of where your peak stops are at different times of the day. So these are peak stops at night, this is peak stops in the morning, and these are peak stops during the day. So again, if you want to set up routes from the city during the night or down to the beach or down to one of the tourist spots on Gold Island, you can get an idea of what's the best time of day to set that route. While we're on this screen, let's have a look at the route types. You've got two route types in Bus Sim 21. You've got the loop mode, which is self-explanatory. That just loops around your route. You've also got ping pong mode, and that will only return to the start stop after driving the route again in reverse after reaching the last stop. You can change the route name as well. You've got a maximum of 50 characters there and that will of course be displayed on your destination board. You can also change the route ID as well. This is three characters that will be displayed to the left of the main route on the bus. A nice feature of the map screen is the colour coding. It makes it really easy at a glance to see which route it is. For example, Route 8 you can see is the long green route. And just by clicking or hovering over each one, it will take you to that corresponding colour coding. It makes it really easy to manage your routes. Now it is important to note that if balancing your route either through the pick up and drop off points or the time of day isn't your bag and you're thinking no this is not what I want to do in Bus Simulator 21 you don't have to do this you're not going to be penalised for not doing it and there are only a couple of times in the campaign so far that I've been asked to produce a balanced route either for drop off and pick up or time of day. You know, you're going to earn slightly less, but it's not going to be night and day in terms of your earnings. So if this management side isn't for you, don't worry. You can just do it exactly how you did it in Bus Simulator 18. Before you go, don't forget to check out my playlist with over 60 Bus Simulator videos. And I'll put a link to this video here, which is me and my son in Bus Sim 21, driving around in multiplayer and having some races. That is it, everyone. Have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next one.